Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the titles that I picked up during the month of July, so stick around. So July was a crazy month with releases. There were tons of films and different things released during the month of July. So we had five weeks, a lot of releases. So today I'm going to go over all of the titles that I picked up during the month of July. I'm just going to do these by the week. Hopefully I don't mess them up. Um, so first up, we're just going to get started. The first thing I picked up, one of the first things I picked up for the first week is Rescue from Gilligan's Island. This right here is a 4K release. And um, this is one that I grew up watching as far as the TV show. And remember seeing this one on TV when it came out. Um, so I got this. I didn't have the TV show on in the collection. So I did go ahead and buy the box set for this one. This right here is the box set that I would prefer. It's got some, it's got single disc holders in it. And so I wanted to add this one to the collection. So I did pick that one up also. Um, we got a lot of Walmart still books during the month. I got the Meg 4K release still book. Also got Cocaine Bear on the Blu-ray Steelbook release. Escape Plan. Um, this right here is the Triple Feature Blu-ray release. Angel Has Fallen 4K um, release with a slip. Diary of the Dead Blu-ray release. Saw X 4K release. I did do unwrappings of all of those films if you like to of all these still books if you like to check that out. Um, we got a six-part documentary series for The Simpsons, so I got this Blu-ray release. Another still book release from Walmart for Forrest Gump. I did an unwrapping of that. Um, we had quite a bit of Kino Lorber releases during the month. Um, we have a 4K release for Blown Away, which I don't believe I've ever seen that one before. I want to check it out. Same way with Narrow Margin. I had never seen this one. I want to check it out. Got this double pack. Um, once around and evening. This right here is a Mill Creek release. Um, we got this release for the Giver, a 4K release, and also a Blu-ray release. So two different slip covers. So I picked them both up. On um, the Criterion sale, we got Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid 4K release. Haven't checked that one out yet. We got Anchorman 4K release. Um, unfortunately, I wish that they would have just included Anchorman 2 with this one. I don't know that we will ever see Anchorman 2 get a 4K release, but that would have been nice. We got UHF on um, 4K release from Shop Factory. We got the Taxi Driver Steelbook release, which I really enjoyed this film. Beautiful Steelbook. I did an unwrapping of it also. And then I got this box set. I don't even know how to pronounce this. But I did pick up this box set. So happy to have that one added to the collection. Okay, during week two, I got um, Anthro... Anthro... Po anyway, I got this film here. And I also got the nice edition box set. I think these were from 88 Films. I also got Loop Track from Arrow. I need to check that one out. I got Journey from the Fall. Unsung Hero. I saw this one in the theater. I really enjoyed it. Titanic the Musical. I got the Blu-ray release for Deer Camp 86. It did not come with a slip. So I made a slip from the DVD release. I got Inspector 3 and Inspector 4 Blu-ray release. These are from 88 Films. I got True Detective Night Country. Really enjoyed this uh, miniseries. Happy to have this one in the collection. I really did enjoy that series. I got Ghoulies 2 um, 4K release. Dark Angel 4K release. Turbulence 4K release. Do you want to check that one out? Boy Kills World 4K release. I saw this one in the theater. Really enjoyed it. Happy to have that one in the collection. Same way with Abigail. Blu-ray release with this really nice slip. I saw this one in the theater. Happy to have this one. Hopefully we'll get a 4K release eventually. 
Same way with Challengers. I got to see this one in the theater. Um, maybe we'll get a 4K for it. I got The Boy and the Heron. Um, studio, well, this is a G Kids release. Civil War, 4K releases. And Twister, 4K release with the still book. So happy to have these in the collection. Okay, during the third week, I got um, Phantoms 4K release. The Last Stop in Yuma County, excellent film. If you have the opportunity to check this one out, definitely check it out. Really enjoyed this one. I also got When Eight Bills Toll from Kendall Lorber. And let's see what else. I got Cannibal Apocalypse 4K release from Kendall Lorber. I got Absurd from 88 Films, store exclusive. We got the SpongeBob SquarePants uh, movie on 4K with this beautiful still book. Then a big release for this week was Rocky V, still book release, and also Rocky Balboa 4K still book release. I did unwrappings of those. I also picked up the UK slipcover editions. So we do have individual releases for those. And I also purchased the um, Ultimate Knockout Collection, which I did an unboxing a bit. Then we have Brokeback Mountain 4K release from Kendall Lorber. Captain Phillips still book 4K release. Got this 88 Films Absurd also on 4K with a slip. Soldier Blue from Cult Classics. And also the Steelbook release. I did an unwrapping of that. And also got the Raid um, from Umbrella, the box set. And I got number 639 out of 2500. So really happy to have that one in the collection. Okay, during the fourth week, I got this release. Like I said, I, I really enjoyed this film. And I wanted this um, UK release, so I picked it up. I also got the Zone of Interest A24 release, Underground Aces from Kino Lorber, Ezra, Confessions of a Serial Killer, Back to Black, The Linguini Incident, The Grill, um, The Crippled Masters. Arcadian, The Strangers Chapter 1, 4K release and Blu-ray release for different slips, and also this really beautiful looking still book that I did an unwrapping of. We got Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 3. Really love the slipcover on this. Then we have the big release of Jaws 3 and Jaws the Revenge, all on 4K with these beautiful looking slipcovers. And also some really nice looking still books. Then we have the release of the Fall Guy 4K release with this nice slip. And this beautiful looking still book. And also we got Risky Business on 4K. Okay, during the final week of July, I got the 4K release for The Lady from Shanghai. I also got from Vinegar Syndrome, Nintendo Quest documentary. Purple Rain Still Book from the UK. Sting, without the slip. I really want to find that slip. Twisted. In and Out on 4K. Can't Stop the Music on 4K. No Way Out on 4K. Buana Devil in 3D. I'm not sure if that's how you spell um, pronounce that. Election 4K release. Malcolm X 4K release with a slip. Glen Gary Glen Ross 101 Films release. The first Omen, which I saw in the theater, really enjoyed this one. Happy to have that one in the collection. And then lastly, I got this Ultraman series on Blu-ray. So those are all of the pickups that I've picked up during the month of July. There were some titles that still haven't arrived yet. 
I'm not sure exactly what the delay is. I do order a lot of things from Target, and Target is pretty bad about the way that they ship. So I'm still waiting on a few more items that were released during the month. There are some titles that I'm waiting on for sale because I can't really afford the um, big price. Um, but I didn't want to delay the video any longer, so I wanted to go ahead and take time to do this. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my pickups, and also let me know in the comments below what you were able to pick up during the month of July, because I really do enjoy reading your comments. But thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and we will see you next time.